Yo, what is up guys, Jamie Games here, and I'm back today with episode 2 of my F1 2012 career mode. Let's play. Uh, we're back today doing the race for the Australian Grand Prix. So let's, uh, let's go to the session. We are straight into the race. So if you haven't seen the qualifying, we did qualify 11th. Uh, if you haven't seen the qualifying though, there'll be an annotation on the screen for people on PC, but also there'll be a link in the description for mobile users, because if it was me... And people put annotations, but they don't put links. Then that really annoys me when I'm on, on my phone or whatever. So I'll put a link down in the description below. You can go and check out the qualifier se qualifying session first. So here we are for the Australian Grand Prix at Albert Park in Melbourne. Our objective is to finish ninth or above. So in the points, if we can get the points, that'd be good. But we're starting eleventh on the grid. Uh, how many laps are there? Does it tell? Does it, does it no? Fifteen laps. Okay, so that's it. Right, it's twenty-five percent race. Uh, what tire strategy are we doing? Uh, lap six for prime tires. Right. Okay. So we'll keep it that strategy so that we can uh, we can go into mix three if we need if we're attacking. So. Yeah, sorry it's been like a week since I uh, uploaded the first part, just like, it, it's really hard for me to upload this during the week, because first of all the time to record it, then the time to upload it, so by the end, by the time I added all that up, then, uh, you know, there's not a lot of time left, so. I'm going to talk about some stuff in this video, I've got, I've got some ideas I'm going to talk about, but just going to talk about start first. Alright, so we just got to try and keep it clean. Our teammate is right ahead of us. Use all our cars off the line. And away we go! David Croft style. Here in Melbourne, we are right up the side of our teammate. Use a bit more cars and break into the first corner. Nearly collide with Bruno Senna there. But we have made up three positions already. I'm a rock up. Paris, what are you doing, son? Why are you even here? Kobayashi in third? Really? Oh, that's, that's pretty good for Sauber. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Give the position back, go! That was really bad. I didn't mean to take that much of the inside curb. You, you can't take that much, but it's easy. And oh, more weather. You're mine. Right, if we can just stay in contention with Co. This fourth place, this is really good. Actually, this, that was a great start, I think. We're getting a fourth in the first lap. But if, if there's a huge train behind us, then we're in trouble. And a little one is building up already. Because the cars behind us probably have more pace. But, still. We're punching well above our weight here, I think. But hopefully we can keep this race clean. And then that'd be good. So this video is probably going to be in the region of half an hour. So if you please watch the whole video, like if you're into F1 and you really want to support me, uh, then I'd appreciate it if you watch the whole thing. That would be awesome. But I can understand if you don't, because you know not a lot of people have half an hour to spend watching one video. So I get it. But speaking of support, I just want to say thank you so much for all your support on the first episode of my career mode. Uh, it did really well. It went down really well with you guys, uh, which is awesome uh, to see. Uh, so yeah, just thank you for that. That was awesome. Hopefully we will get to use the DRS at some point in this race. Because I want I wanna I wanna use the DRS. Because I like the DRS, I think it's great. Um yeah, just thanks for all your support on the first episode, it's awesome. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna what I'm gonna start doing probably is uh, recording like a few episodes in a day, like one after another. Uh, so I've got like a few record pre-recorded, and I can just upload them when I've got the time, like when no one else in my house is using it, which will probably be in the middle of the night. So yeah, well this is good actually. Right in the race, look, look if you look at the bottom left now. We are actually not creating a train, and that was really bad, that was wide, that was wide, oh my god, oh my god. And we've lost a position to Mark Webber, but hopefully we can get it back at this turn. Just outbreak him. 
nearly spun there. Nice move. You're up a place. Nice move. Thanks, engineer. Appreciate that, right? So yeah, um, I want to talk about quick before I get into my main topic that I mentioned at the start. Uh, in the qualifying for this race, uh, someone posted a comment because you know in uh, practice you get um, this thing called R and D objectives, which is research and development. So it goes towards like the team creating upgrades for your car and stuff like that. And uh, someone posted in the comments that I should record me doing the R and D objective and like passing the R and D objective. Uh, I just want to get your guys' opinion on that. You know, put it out in a video. Uh, ask you guys. Should I start doing that? I mean, I thought it was an, an okay idea, you know, because R&D is pretty cool, uh, and also get it, you know, leads to upgrades in the car. So uh, I might do that. So let me know down in the comments what you think of that idea, uh, and if you know enough people uh, say that they're cool with it, then um, then that'd be awesome and I'll start implementing that into this career mode that'd be really awesome so what I want to talk about is as anybody who is into F1 and follows all the news will know yesterday it was confirmed that Lewis Hamilton has officially signed a deal with the Mercedes FM, uh, FM F1 team sorry uh, for next season uh, he's going there for he's on a three-year contract uh, 15 million pounds a year it's worth uh, it's a 45 million pound deal which is fair enough considering he's a lo uh, world champion so but uh, loads of people are like some people are in uproar about this you know, McLaren fans because they're saying oh McLaren has supported you since you were a kid and, and now you're just betraying them for the money well first of all put yourself in his shoes have you been at the same team for pretty much all of your racing career surely you'd want to change like surely and uh, Ross Braun actually said you know people should back his move to Mercedes because apparently the main reason that he wants to do it is because he wants to be part of a title building a title winning team which is like I read that and I thought that is fair enough that is actually fair enough because it's like it's a bit like youth football, I guess. Like, if you're on the team that just wins every weekend, wins the league every season, you're in the top league, you know, you get bored of winning all the time. You might go to a club that's not so great, so you'd have much more fun. Like, maybe that's what Lewis is doing. I don't think we'll 100% ever know really what's uh, what's going on. Jesus Christ, that was bad. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll ever, like, 100% know exactly behind it. You know, maybe there was a bit of tension in the McLaren garage. Uh, between Lewis and the team, who know, and we have lost loads of time to the car behind. We are under pressure, and DRS is going to be used against us on the straight. So, uh, yeah, I think there's much more to the story than we know, but I don't think Lewis has moved just for the money. It might have been a factor, but I don't think, I like, honestly, I don't think he's just gone for the money. I think he's gone just for a change, uh, in my opinion. So. You might be thinking, well, first of all, Mark Schumacher is going to permanent retirement. This uh, this Lewis move is basically pushing him into retirement. But uh, I think he was on the way out of, you know, he was probably going to announce retirement anyway from himself because, you know, I think in his uh, he's a he's an absolute legend of the sport, no doubt about it. You know, I, I believe he's an absolute legend, Mark Schumacher, seven-time world champion. But I think he's just past his time. I think his time has passed. You know, I think he's a bit old now. His judgment is going. His reaction time is slowing down, as we saw at the Singapore Grand Prix. You know, he just locked up, went straight into the back of John at Vern. Vern at, was it Vern? At Vern? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure it was. But um, yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I, it's, happened, it's not the first time that's happened this season that he's called Staxton. So maybe he was on the way out anyway. But uh, you might be thinking, so Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton are going to be teammates next season, but who's going to fill in at McLaren? Well, if you guys that follow F1 News will know also that Sergio Perez has moved from Sauber and taken Lewis Hamilton's seat at McLaren. Now, 
people are saying, oh god, Sergio Perez, you know, he's not going to do anything at McLaren. I think he can be a title contender next season at McLaren, you know, because he is a great young driver, and we are under pressure from DRS, so I think we're going to be alright, but, uh, yeah, he's a great young driver, in my opinion. He did really well at Sauber, he got some podiums from, you know, a team, one of the midfield teams, that's really good, you know. Uh, remember in Monza, he was he was coming at the Ferraris for many laps, and he got past both of them. So, so you know that that was that was great, in my opinion. I think he's going to be really good uh, at McLaren, Sergio Perez. But who's going to take Sergio Perez's seat at Sauber? Now, nobody's really talked about this that much. Some people are saying it could be Michael Schumacher, but I doubt it because I don't think Sauber will want to take Michael Schumacher on, his age, etc. So, this led me to believe that perhaps Felipe Massa, if he's leaving Ferrari, which I'm not sure he is, uh, he might stay, because he's basically a test dummy for Ferrari, for Fernando, you know, they test strategies on him, they use him for testing tyres, etc. They'll put him on a set of tyres, uh, like a tyre type first, to see how they perform and take that data and apply it to Alonso. But Massa is a great driver, and I don't think Ferrari will find another driver as good as Felipe, or one that complies with doing Fernando Alonso's dirty work, as well as Felipe Massa. So we're in the pits now, for our first, first round of pit stops. Who's coming in with us? Vettel. Sweet. So, but yeah, who could fill in at Sauber? If you've got opinions like that, guys, let me know down in the comments, uh, who do you think could take Sergio Perez's seat at Sauber? Uh, Massa, or Schumacher, or maybe maybe someone else will come up. Who knows? Maybe a new driver will come up through the ranks. But uh, my opinion, I would have loved... I, I think Sergio Perez is going to be great at McLaren, I, all honestly. But I would have actually loved to have seen Paul De Resta get a drive at McLaren because I think he is amazing, he's British, so he worked well with Jensen. I just think he's an overall lad. He drove absolutely phenomenal in Singapore. Uh, finished fourth. That's very that's a great finish for Force India. He I think he's gonna be an amazing driver. And in my opinion I think he's gonna be a world champion one day. Like I know you might think, well that's a bit far fetched. But I think he could be a world champion one day. And uh, that would be great to see that, because I think he's an amazing young driver, he's so talented, but I would have loved to have seen him at McLaren, but maybe one day, maybe in a few years' time, he'll go to one of the big guns, and I think he'll uh, do well, because he's been the rookie of F1, because if you think about it, he's still a rookie, he's in like his second season of Formula 1, full time. But I think I think he's an amazing driver. So if anyone agrees with me on this, and let me know down in the comments, it'd be it'd be nice to feel that someone know that someone feels the same way I do about him. But yeah, I think he's amazing. So yeah, that's all the F1 transfer rumours uh, and news down for you. And we're gonna gain a couple of positions hopefully in this round of pit stops. Our teammate is boxed in, and so is that guy. And there's a guy coming out the pits right now. Two guys coming out the pits right now. Bruno Senna, do not touch me, mate. We didn't, we didn't stop, no, just pretty really slow. That wasn't, yeah, it was Senna, sorry. The positioning on the top left was uh, playing on me. So, Mark Webber, can we get this guy? Well, hey, he actually beat us in that round of pit stops then, because we were ahead of him slightly, and now we're slightly behind him, but we have got heat in our tyres. So... Okay, so Mark Webber's running fuel conservation, so we can get him not driving like that, we can't. Oh, God. Alright. Let's go back. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that's the main thing I wanted to talk about, just the moves, etc. So, I, th I think Lewis can do really well at Mercedes, and, uh... And, uh it, right, I think what he also is doing is thinking ahead to the future, because if you didn't know... In the 2014 season, they're changing the engine regulations uh, for the sport. I think 
it's where we can now have eight gear engines in Formula One. So, Mercedes have always been really great with their engines. Uh, it's just, you know, they've lacked overall pace. But their engine has always been great. So, and also they supply uh, McLaren and also the team that we're driving for right now, Force India, with their engines. So, that leads me to believe perhaps Lewis has gone there because they are probably going to be leading the frontier into the new engine regulations uh, next season. Uh, not next season, season after next. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Why do you think Lewis Hamilton has gone to Mercedes? Maybe it's just for a change. Maybe he's bored. Maybe there's a bit of tension in McLaren. But uh, we're still with the rest of the season. He's going to be at McLaren for the rest of the season. So I'm sure in the upcoming races, and especially the last race of the season, he'll uh, put some kind of message out. You know, thanks so much to McLaren. But I think McLaren have done a lot for him. And uh, they offered him a great deal, apparently, to try and get him to stay. But, you know, once someone's mind is made up, it's made up. So, yeah. So that's the end of that saga. Lewis has gone to Mercedes. I'll still support him, but I think I'm going to support McLaren. I think I'll, I love Sergio Perez, so I'm going to be keeping a close eye on him next season at McLaren. Um, you know, I'm going to support the McLaren team. I'm going to keep an eye on Lewis because you know he's, he's a Brit. He's a you know one of our own, but uh, definitely keep an eye mainly on McLaren uh, for next season. So tell me uh, if you want, guys down in the comment section of this video what team do you support and why so uh, please don't put like Red Bull because they're beast like even that could be true but they're not I don't think they're beast uh, especially not this season uh, they dominated last season but that was mainly because of the blown diffuser which they've now removed from the regulations so they can't have that and that is why uh, we haven't seen them dominating this season. Uh, I think. You know, I know the tyre range have changed, like Pirelli, you know, uh, their tyres uh, have brought so much more to the sport, so many different winners. Remember, we had seven winners in seven races, and then Fernando Alonso went and messed it all up by winning. I'm uh, joking, he didn't mess it up. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it was it was really interesting having seven different winners in the first seven races of the season. That's uh, that was incredible. That was so entertaining. So right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna whack my fuel mix to Rich because we are losing on the guy in front, but we're also being caught from the guy behind. So we haven't used DRS yet. Sad face. Oh, we've still got like five more laps. Hopefully, someone will. Get within a second of us. But wow, fifth place in our first race. But like guys, you might be thinking, because we're in fifth, and Force India in fifth, that is realistic. If you think about it, you know, we were to finish fourth last last race. Okay, so Alonso behind us is also running on full revs, so. And Lewis goes and sets fast lap of the race, so. Uh yeah. What was I even talking about? I can't remember. Hopefully we can use DRS. Maybe if Alonso gets past us and we can stay with him, we could get some DRS action going on. 0.7 of a second. He's going to be using DRS all the way down this straight here. So, let's uh, let's go. So, Again, guys, I said this in the last part of career mode. If you have any suggestions of like any topics to do with F1 or debates or anything, uh, common debate topics in Formula 1 that you'd like me to talk about in these career mode uh, episodes because they are quite long so it gives me a lot of time to talk about topics and stuff then let me know down in the comments any topics in any of my videos just say oh in career mode talk about this and if, it's, if I think it's a decent enough topic and there's enough to talk about for a majority of a video then uh, I'll, I'll do that I'll talk about it so yeah, I think we may fall back to sixth in a minute because Alonso is just way faster than us. But I wouldn't like to drop any lower than sixth because we did so well to gain uh, six positions from the start. What I might do to get some DRS action there, and I might let him pass, and then nah, that's just unsporting. Lol. 
So yeah. Um, that's pretty much big topic covered. Yeah. So again, if you have any suggestions for stuff to include in this uh, career mode to make it more entertaining for you guys, then of course let me know down in the comments because I read every single comment. Like some people, they say that they read every single comment and then they just like don't reply to half of them. I reply to every single comment that my subscribers post because. Uh, I think, you know, that they've taken the short amount of time that it takes to post a comment, but it's still time to comment on your video. Uh, I think that you should, you know, return the favour by replying. You know, it only makes sense. It's polite. It's awesome. And also, it's good interaction. So, uh, yeah, internet trolls. I just want to touch on this because it just made me laugh. Now... People, please don't think that I'm trying to gain sympathy because it really did. Honestly, it did not upset me a bit. It, if anything, it made me happy because it just made me laugh. Some guy commented on a video. I'm not going to say which one exactly, but if any of you follow me on Facebook or like my Facebook fan page on Twitter, that uh, like my Facebook fan page on Twitter. Wow. Well, if you're following me on Twitter or you have liked my Facebook fan page, then you will know that some guy commented on a video saying, oh, you dickhead, why have you done a 27 minute analysis of the Zombies trailer? Now, I know, oh god, now I know that was quite a long video, like, I, I, I appreciate that, but I, I said that I was going to do an in-depth analysis, and I feel that 27 minutes is in-depth. So, you know, he commented and saying you should focus on your exams, stop wasting your life, or something like that. Now, let me tell you guys something. Again, if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you'll know a couple of months ago, I got my results for a, couple, a few GCSE and modules that I did early. And I got two, I'm not bragging or anything, I'm just saying, I got two X stars and an A, so I'm clearly not a Dinlo, and I was still posting videos then. So, like, I don't see how some guy can then go and say that I need to study and stop making videos. Um, that's just really funny. So, but it's probably really ironic because he's probably like some kid that doesn't do anything at all. He's really crap at school. And Raikkonen's posted the fastest lap of the race, so 138. We are about a second and a half off the pace of them. So, just goes to show how much we need these upgrades from doing research and development. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys. So. Ah, well, I, you know, I, 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 the thing is with me, some people, like, they might get really upset at people trolling them, like, oh, this person's being mean to me over the internet, but I don't really care, because, it, you know, if someone's trying to troll you over the internet or be mean to you over the internet, it just shows how much of a weak person they are, because they can't do it face to face, or, like, they can't do it somewhere else, like, fair enough, they've never seen you and they don't know where you live or anything, but why would you hate on someone over the internet? you have no balls whatsoever so yeah just want to talk about that just don't talk about it. just fill out the time so this has been a very very successful race for us hmm interesting so we've got a couple this lap and one more to try and stay ahead of these two guys behind us I think we will do that unless they get really close under DRS coming around the next straight we didn't get to use DRS derp derp Third, third, pretty third. Nine point three seconds behind Weber now. Yeah, that just shows the four senior doesn't have pace with the top three teams, like particularly. But it just shows how we dominate the midfield. Like Sauber, Williams, they've been nowhere near us all race really. Apart from us nearly colliding with Bruno Senna coming out of the pits, but didn't really. Yeah, so. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. I know we've only done one qualifying session and one race, but I'm really enjoying the, doing this career mode. It's really fun. So, ooh, Alonso getting a bit, uh, getting a bit tasty, trying to go, trying to go out the inside there. Oh, don't it, don't it? Right, we need to try and build a little bit of a gap. They're coming out of here anyway, because they're going to have so much more pace. I mean, look, let's just go backwards. Let's just look back. To see how much pace you get from the DRS. That is anti. 
Alright, I think we'll be okay now, as long as we don't get overtaken at this bit. Which I'll use curves all the way down. My muscle way down. Oh, he's going on the outside. I'll break him, I'll break him, I'll break. He's got the inside line. No, he's got the inside line. He's got the inside line. Oh my god. I tried to give him room. I tried to give him room. We've had a very clean race. Apart from the start, but the start on this track, any of you guys that have played on this track, done a race, you'll know that carnage happens at the second. Uh, like that turn that we just come out of, the second DRS zone on this track from the start line. Like, that's just crazy. Like, front wings end up coming off all the time. But I didn't really see much because we gained so many positions at the start. So, yeah, I hope I have been reasonably entertaining for you guys watching this video. Uh, sorry, and Lewis Hamilton has won the race. The new Mercedes driver has won the race. Well done, Lewis. Congrats. 25 points in the bag for the WDC. So, uh, yeah, I hope I've been reasonably entertaining for you guys. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to click the like button. Uh, that would mean a lot to me. Uh, drop a quick comment if you want. Comment to any of the questions and stuff that I asked throughout the video. And, uh, yeah, and subscribe if you want to see more from me. So, fifth place for Force India and our first ever Grand Prix. That is incredible, and our teammate pulled the rest to finish in the last points uh, position. That's great. So, two sets of points for Force India. That's good. That's really good. And we've got our 5G achievement. Amazing. Awesome. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, click the like button. Uh, if you didn't, then let me know in the comments down below why. So, if you, yeah, just... Thanks, you're awesome. Check out my Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description. And uh, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Next up, Malaysia. See you later, guys. Bye.